Now, speaking of devils and America, there is an actress in Hollywood who is absolutely being treated like one. And, and for what reason? Because she's daring to have a screening of IDF footage showing the atrocities of October 7th. In fact, I mentioned her on last week's show. Her name is Gal Gadot. She, she's an Israeli actress and model who's had a, a fairly successful career. She was Miss Israel in 2004 and competed for Israel at that year's Miss Universe pageant. After that, she served in the Israeli military as a combat fitness instructor. Her grandfather is literally a, a Holocaust survivor. She starred in the fourth and fifth Fast and Furious movies, but her, her biggest role is as the modern version of Wonder Woman. And I suppose she's a more wonderful woman than any other actress in Hollywood right now because her Instagram and Twitter pages are literally filled with posts about all of the people who are being held hostage right now. Post after post after post for her, for her 109 million followers. Her bio says, stand with Israel in all caps, and she provides a link to donate to four or five different organizations. And now, she and her husband and an Israeli director named uh, Guy Nativ um, have scheduled a screening of almost an hour of IDF footage um, from October 7th, right in the middle of the deception capital of the world, Hollywood. The director said, as a filmmaker, I swore that these images of October 7th would not be forgotten and the world would see them. Because now the denial begins. We cannot pass by in silence. So his description is like that of the Holocaust. And just as people deny the reality of the Holocaust, they are now denying the reality of the genocide against the Jewish people. Now, I was devastated to learn that... Uh, I just, I, I couldn't believe it um, to learn that because of all this, another actress, Anna de Armas, has unfollowed Gal Gadot on Insta, Instagram. Can can you believe it? Like, I, I woe is me. But look, I, I just want to commend this woman. Um, she's not perfect, and she doesn't have all the right ideas, but she seems like one of the few remaining classy actresses or celebrities left in the world. So maybe now I'll finally break down and watch Justice League. Getting quality, good-priced meat products is proving to be increasingly difficult these days. With Biden inflation, the prices of everything in the store is going through the roof. When you make fuel more expensive, that costs the farmer more, it costs the shipper more, it costs the grocer more, and it costs you more. That's why you need to check out Good Ranchers. They'll ship directly to your house their 100% American beef, chicken, seafood, and pork. All, all sourced from independent farmers in the U.S. So check the link in my show notes and use the code RANCHER10, RANCHER10, for 10% off their best-selling Rancher's Classic Box. 